Thoroughbred Action is presented by Hardacre Farm. Welcome to Thoroughbred Action here at Gulfstream Park. We have 11 races on tap, headlined by the Grade 3 Mr. Prospector. It's the first day of 2017. We'll get straight to those track and weather conditions. We start the afternoon with the fast main track and a firm turf course. It's warmed up a bit. Temperatures move to the upper 70s here today. First race of the afternoon over the main track at five and a half furlongs. Claimers in for a price tag of $6,250. Scratch number two, Caprioska, a field of six. A heavy favorite from the rail, number one, Summer White. Racing at Gulfstream. Exclusively, Dixie was slow to begin, and Playa Zaragoza was a step slow. Good start inside for the favorite, Summer Whites, who's heading off for the early lead in front of Palasia, who comes away racing in second. Petrina's Love is a joint third. Down at the rail, that's Playa Zaragoza. Miss Regal Light between horses, and exclusively, Dixie will be the last to race to the far turn. And the leader is Summer Whites. Summer Whites by an act. Palasia turns up the pressure second. Now Palasia puts ahead in front. Miss Regal Light is third. Playa Zaragoza is fourth. Fifth is Petrina's Love, and exclusively, Dixie trails as they run to the three furlong point. Now there's five sixteenths to go and Palacia still has the lead. Summer Whites tries to fight back second. Three wide is Miss Regal Light third as they've now passed the quarter pole. Playa Zaragoza is racing from fourth ahead of exclusively Dixie then Petrina's Love. Top of the lane. Palacia has a narrow lead. Summer Whites is down inside trying to fight back second. Miss Regal Light down the center and then Playa Zaragoza inside the final furlong. They've put away Summer Whites. Palacia with the lead on the far outside and Miss Regal Light. Summer Whites is trying to come again. Again, Palasia's almost home. Summer Whites is surging again. Miss Regal Light, Palasia on it. Palasia and Edgar Zayas with the score got close after that. Summer Whites are Miss Regal Light, then Playa Zaragoza and 106 and 2. We start the afternoon with a bit of an upset as number seven Palasia was able to put away the favorite Summer Whites and roll on for the score under jockey Edgar Zayas for trainer Oscar Gonzalez and OMG Stables. Summer Whites battled on bravely to get second just ahead of four Miss Regal Light who finished third. To the second race we go at seven and a half furlongs over the turf, maiden claimers in for a $35,000 price tag. Scratch number 10, Helio Doro. A field of nine, the favorites included two, Gold Shark and six, Gemini Rising. And they're off. Step slow to begin, both Prominence and Grant Me Peace. High security from the center gets the first call. Down at the rail, Mr. Euro moves to be second. Gold Shark is in between horses and down toward the inside. Very wide and a bit rank here is Blue Humor. He's tugging. He's a bit better to handle now as he's straightened up by Juarez and marching towards high security up top. Racing from third, that's Mr. Euro out. Three wide goes Gold Shark, Golden Sand between horses. Then it's a length and a half back, reserved in six positions, Gemini Rising. To his outside goes Grant Me Peace. The two at the back are Prominence and Sam Brook Edge. Down the back stretch they go. The opening quarter was 24 and two. High security and Paco Lopez call the shots up front. They lead three parts of a length. To the outside, Blue Humor is second. Gold Shark third, Mr. Euro is fourth. Golden Sand is fifth. Grant Me Peace is sixth. Down at the rail, seven. 7th, Gemini Rising, Prominence is 8th, and Sandbrook Edge is ninth and last as they swing to the far turn. The opening half mile was covered in 48 and 4, and up top, High Security maintains a narrow lead. Coming to call on the outside, Blue Humor from 2nd. Golden Shark appears to have some run under Lepparu, 3rd behind the speed. Then Mr. Euro and Grant Me Peace, Prominence is on the outside. Gemini Rising rides the rail as they turn for home. High Security still clear up top, leads it up by a length, off cover. Mr. Euro tries to get to him, then on the inside and Gemini rising. Eighth of a mile to go. Paco goes to work on high security and he's opening up. High security's in front by five. Back to second, Gemini rising alongside Mr. Euro. High security easily. Gemini rising got second. Mr. Euro third, then grant me peace in 130 and one. Number four, high security comes back ready to roll and takes him gate to wire, winning with something in reserve under jockey Paco Lopez for owners Gary and Mary West and trainer Jason Service. Second six, Gemini rising. Third one, Mr. Euro. We'll take a brief time out. When we come back, we'll have more great racing action, including the grade three Mr. Prospector, right after this.
Back now for the third race at five and a half furlongs. Maiden claimers in for a price tag of 12,500. The betting favorite on the major class drop, number three, Song Memory. And they're off. From the outside, member begins nicely. Farthest out is Lady Greatness showing speed. Jill's catch comes away to race in third. In between horses, that's Ruby Lion out of their fourth. Followed fifth and outside by another mouth to feed, then down inside the song Memory. Length back to Miss Kitka, and it's four to the trailer. She's a Hellcat. They make their way to the far turn, and up top, member leads it half a length. Up on the outside, Lady Greatness is second. Another mouth to feed is now third. Here's Miss Kitka circling horses and on the move into fourth now, getting around Ruby Lion and Jill's catch. Song Memory. She'll have to catch up from there. She's better than six lengths off the lead with five sixteenths to go. And at the back, the trailer, she's a Hellcat. They run to the top of the stretch after going a quarter in 23 and one. Member surviving so far, leads by an neck. Lady Greatness issues the challenge on the outside second. Off cover third is another mouth to feed from fourth and Miss Kitka. Three sixteenths to go now. Richard Mitchell gets busy on Lady Greatness. She'll have to deal with Song Memory and Miss Kitka. Miss Kitka's gonna collar her first and then Song Memory will charge later. In deep stretch, Miss Kitka has has the lead, Song Memories up into second. Miss Kitka and Alvarado Jr. to win it. Up second, Song Memory, then another mouth to feed Lady Greatness and Ruby Lion in 107 and one. Well, Song Memory was 0 for 30 coming in. Now she's 0 for 31 as number five, Miss Kitka closes down the pace setters to get the score under jockey Roberto Alvarado Jr. for trainer Ralph Katniss and owner Rodney Lundock. Second was number three, Song Memory, ahead of six, another mouth to feed who hung on to be third. The fourth race of the afternoon was the Sunday feature race. It was the grade three Mr. Prospector Stakes. A field of six, the betting favorites were the monster racing stable pair of Shaft of Light and Delta Bluesman. And they're off in the Mr. Prospector. Smooth beginning. At the rail, John Velasquez is riding El Deal for the early lead, and he's cleared already a length and a quarter over an improving Delta Blues man second. Can dip rain back to run in third here. Down at the inside, it's your dreams or mine, followed out wide by Shaft of Light, and the trailer is Squadron A. Down the back stretch and go into the opening quarter mark, and on top of the field, the leader is El Deal, three parts of a length. On the outside, Delta Blues man second. Two and a half lengths back to your dreams or mine in third. Three wide out there in fourth. Shaft of Light. Can dip between horses about four lengths off the lead, and five to the trailer, Squadron A. Less than three-eighths of a mile to go. The opening quarter was 22-1. and one. El Deal, been offensive-minded from the outset. He leads it by a length and a quarter. Delta Blues Man, a bit closer second, but here's Can Dip, looming large on the outside. Third, Paco Lopez in your dreams or mine. They'll swing to the outside for a clear shot as they turn home. Four horses lining up, and even Squadron A chiming in from the rail. There's an eighth of a mile to go. Squadron A rolling up the fence. Can Dip hit the front, then Delta Blues Man in your dreams or mine. Final furlong, Squadron A or can dip squadron a from last to first to win the 64th mr prospector second can dip third delta blues man then l deal your dreams are mine and shaft of light 110 and one big upset in today's feature race number two squadron a was last early and was the longest shot in the race but neither one of those things bothered him in the slightest as he rolled up the rail to get the victory under jockey Corey lannery for trainer dale romans and owner carolyn vogel Second was three, Candip, ahead of number six, Delta Blues Man, who finished third. On to the fifth race we go, race number five on the main track at a mile and a 16th. This was a first finish line race. Scratch the four, Fenerbahce, and scratch the eight, Angel C. A field of nine, the heavy favorite off the claim, number nine, Ravello's Boy. And they're off. Sir Sparky was a step slow. As usual, tis time is now as quick and stride, and he'll try to keep his rail spot and head to the lead. He'll do both over Legacy Dansor, who's in the two path racing second. Mr. Steep is out of there third, followed by Jaden's best, then the favorite Ravello's boy. He's dropping over to race about two wide in the run to the first turn. Then my running mate, it's a stretch of three to the team at the back, Tiz Bobby, Sir Sparky, and Toes Gray Cat. Long shot, Tiz Time is now. Leads it now by a length and a half. Legacy Dan scores second. On the outside in Ravello's boy from third, Mr. Steepa's widest of all. Jaden's best is at the rail. Then my running mate, a bit closer is that trio at the back of Toes Gray Cat, Sir Sparky, and Tiz Bobby. Separated by six lengths as they run to the half mile pole. And up top, Tiz Time is now through a 24 and one opening quarter. Legacy Dan Soar second, Jaden's best is third. Ravello's boy calmly ridden at this point. He's racing in four through a 48 and one half mile. Now Ravello's boy will tip into the three path to make an offensive move. Stretch of another two to my running mate ahead of Sir Sparky. Mr. Steep has dropped back. Second last is Tiz Bobby and Toes Gray Cat as the trailer as they round the far turn. Tiz Time is now shaken up on the top end. Here's the big favorite, Ravello's 
Ravello's boy drawing alongside, and Ravello's boy just took the lead, and the rider is really not a master for much. Jaden's best is under the whip ride from third, fourth run is Legacy Dansor, but this one appears over. Up top, it's the Ravello's boy. He's the only one still confidently handled, and he's moving away with a short stretch to work with. Tiz Bobby unwinds from the back, then Jaden's best and my running bait. Into the stretch, Ravello's boy. Now they're asking him for his best, and he's still well clear. Tiz Bobby's rallying well, but time ticking away. Ravello's boy is clear. Tiz Bobby's up into second. It will be Ravello's boy. To win it by almost two in the end. Second, Tiz Bobby. Third, Jaden's best, then Toes Gray Cat, 146 and four. Number nine, Ravello's boy wins and wins easily in today's fifth race under jockey Nick Juarez. He was confidently handled throughout. Carries the colors of drawing away stable. He's trained by Sappy Joseph Jr. Second 11, Tiz Bobby, ahead of three, Jaden's best, who finished third. Early pick four, worth $1,354.55. The early pick five today, $4,367.95. We'll take a brief time out. When we come back, we'll have the Rainbow Six sequence on a Sunday from Gulfstream right after this. for horses and a commitment to breed champions is the foundation of Hardacre Farm. Founded in 1999 by Amy Tarrant, owner, breeder and trainer, Hardacre Farm, now based in Ocala, continues its tradition of success. From the Breeders' Cup to Gulfstream Park, Hardacre Farm, from the breeding shed to the racetrack, in pursuit of producing the best. Back now for race number six on the program at a mile and an eighth over a firm turf course. Maidens of the special weight level. Scratch number seven, Bonnie Arch. The favorites included one, Tap It Together, and six, Glory to Kitten. And they're off. It was an awkward getaway for Mo Light, who checked back at the start. From the center, Glory to Kitten and Moonless Sky, the first two out. Yes, it's factual, comes away to race in third. Down along the inside is Benign Palace, racing about a length and a half off the lead. In between horses goes Michelle to Oral, then Tap It Together, who's going to be in very tight down at the rail, and it's three to the trailer, Mo Light. They run around that first turn, and on top, Moonless Sky leads narrowly. In the two-path, Glory to Kitten is second. Belheim Palace is racing in third between horses. Down at the rail, tap it together. Scooted right on through to be in the third spot. Out three wide on the course is, yes, it's factual that it's a stretch of two. The two at the back are Michelle D'Oro and Mo Light. Quarter time, 24 and 3. Into the back stretch they go. Moonless Sky leads by an neck. On the outside, Glory to Kitten is racing in second. Tap it together with joint third. Yes, it's factual. A three wide. And then in between horses goes Belheim Palace. Stretch of another two to Molite and Michelle to Oro. Down the back stretch they go, and up top, the leaders continue to be Glory to Kitten in the two path and Moonless Sky at the rail. Top it together is down at the inside, alongside her is Belheim Palace, and out three wide, yes, it's factual. Mo Light second last, and now the trailer is Michelle D'Oro as they run around the far turn. They went the opening half mile in just 50 and one. This will be a three eighths of a mile dash to the finish. Moonless Sky leads narrowly. Glory to Kitten comes to call on the outside second. Mo Light four wide on the outside third. Top it together in Belheim Palace both need room. Michelle D'Oro's at the back of the pack and everybody has a chance as they turn for home. Glory to Kitten first to shake up for the drive and now takes a narrow lead. Belheim Palace is next. Pap it together trying to work into the clear. Moonless Sky at the rail. Eighth of a mile to go. Glory to Kitten striding away. Belheim Palace is up into second. Then Moonless Sky and tap it together. Glory to Kitten scores. Belheim Palace second. Third was Moonless Sky. Fourth was tap it together. Then Mo Light in 148 and four. Number six, Glory to Kitten pushed the pace setter Moonless Sky and pulled away when confronted in the stretch under jockey Julian Leparu for Ken and Sarah Ramsey and trainer Mike Maker. Number two, Blenheim Palace shook loose to get second ahead of the pace setter five Moonless Sky and the one tap it together. On now to race number seven on the card, an allowance option reclaiming event for Florida Breds. A field reduced by three, scratched the two, four, and ten. A field of ten, the favorite from the rail, dreaming of Nino. And they're off.
far down was a step slow to start. Toward the inside, Social Roy begins nicely at the rail. Dreaming of Nino is heading off for the lead. So is JB Quick. In fact, they're lining up up top. Call to honors away in the top flight and Kokomo Wildcat from the top shelf. Behind the embattled pace setters is Wild Impulse, but he's not far away. Bar down improves down inside, and the trailer is Bulldozer. They make their way past the half mile pole and move to the far turn. And with the lead, Dreaming of Nino, three parts of length, Social Roy right back at him second. Three wide third, JB Quick, four wide Kokomo Wildcat. Bar down, rides the rail into contention two and a half lengths off the lead a length and a half better than the team of wild impulse then call to honor it's a stretch of two and a half to bulldozer set down after that is bold summit and even farther back to the trailer he's actually trailed throughout dreaming of DeWild. they run past the quarter pole and they turn for home social roy puts away the face setter dreaming of nino from the back bar down is still a threat he'll need racing room and bulldozer is also swung to the center for a late run and bulldozer's really rolling here comes the veteran bulldozer out in the center the course to try to get to JB Quick who just hit the lead. Bulldozer, JB Quick, JB Quick, Bulldozer, Bulldozer in time. Bulldozer ran down JB Quick with Social Roy third and bar down fourth and what 11 and two. Number 11, Bulldozer, is just a cool racehorse. He's been around a long time and he gets his second win in a row under jockey Miguel Vasquez as he runs down the leaders to get the score in the final strides. George Navarro, the winning trainer, he also owns this horse as part of JN Racing Stables. We go now to race number eight on the program. Five furlongs over the turf. Scratch the three, Bermuda Triangle. Scratch the 13, 15, and 16. Jorge Ruiz on seven, Northern Rail. The betting favorite is number 11, the final encore. And they're up. From the inside, that's Dubai Bob who gets the first call. Final Encore was away well from an outside gate, punching between horses, both San Nicolo and Contractor Jack in the run down the backstretch. San Nicolo duking it out with Dubai Bob with Contractor Jack Rain back to run in third. Down at the rail in fourth is Money Market. From fifth, Final Encore, then still burning sixth and ended up bit tight. Having to tap on the brakes was still burning. Kingston Bay moves by him. Then Mongolian Party. It's a length and a half back to Cav alongside Really Ready. Another two lengths back, second last Super True and far back to the trailer, Northern Rail. They run to the top of the stretch. Dubai Bob maintains a narrow lead over San Nicolo. Second off cover. Contractor Jack and Money Market try to move up. So does Final Encore. Still burning down toward the rail. There's an eighth of a mile to go and Dubai Bob finding up top. Leads it by two. Contractor Jack and San Nicolo second and third. Then still burning late run from Mongolian Party. But the winner, Dubai Bob by two and a half. Up second was Contractor Jack then San Nicolo in 56. And well, Big upsets in race number eight. The favorites were off the board as number two, Dubai Bob, rolls to a 13 to one score, giving jockey Miguel Vasquez back-to-back -back victories. Owned by Frank Calabrese and trained by Angel Rodriguez, Dubai Bob, the winner. Second, number six, Contractor Jack at a huge price, ahead of eight, San Nicolo at a big price for third. On out of the ninth race we go, five furlongs over the turf, starter allowance optional claiming event, scratch the 11, goodbye Soro, a field of 10, rider change on seven special, of course, to Jorge Ruiz. Betting favorite was the claiming crown winner, and number 10, Spectacular Me. Level beginning. From the inside, Belladini begins nicely. There goes My Sister Carol onto the front. My Sister Carol leads by an eck over special, of course. The Tampa Invader moves right with her. These two now a length and a half clear of the team of Red Aguia and Belladini. Out wide is Spectacular Me trying to get over with Forrest Funds to her inside, then Star Miley. Sweet Butterflies at the rail. The two at the back are Kaiser's Delight and Love Flute. Around the far turn, they go separated by five lengths. And on the outside, Special, of course, puts ahead in front. Three wide, Forrest Funds and four wide, Spectacular Me. In between horses and trying to fight on is Red Aguia, then Belladini at the rail, followed by Love Flute as they turn for the money. Over the top, Spectacular Me, the wind machine, set down driving, but my sister Carol battles right on second and Forrest Funds from between horses third. Mitchell getting to the outside with Love Flute. Clipping heels with Special, of course. Through it all, my sister Carol repels all the challengers. My sister Carol will win it. Second spectacular me. I think Love Flute got third ahead of Belladini in 55 and three. The rematch of the claiming crown was a good one, but this time it's the five. My sister Carol who pulls away for the score. She actually earned her money. She took all the heat early and pulled away late under jockey Paco Lopez for trainer Clyde Martin and owner Steven Bertrando and Paul Trapani. Second was the 10 spectacular me ahead of Love Flute. She rallied to get third. Don't go away, we'll kick a brief timeout. When we come back, we'll bring you the late Daily Double on a Sunday from South Florida right after this.
28th at Gulfstream Park, an icon takes flight. The world's richest thoroughbred horse race. 12 of the sport's finest horses. One race. $12 million on the line. Watch, wager, witness. Go to PegasusWorldCup.com for more. Back now for the 10th race. These are allowance horses at a mile and a 16th. The recently turned three-year-olds with a field of nine. The betting favorite was number eight, Tammet. And they're up. From the inside, Bill's Legacy gets the first call and goes looking for the lead. Blame it on Dixie, comes away with speed. In between horses, Lipstick City, not far away. Also marching up is Chubby Star. Chubby Star is keyed up and racing toward the lead, which is held by Bill's Legacy. Out wide is Blame it on Dixie in the two-path Lipstick City. These four across the track. They've gone two lengths clear of Wedding Jitters, who's down at the inside fifth. Gale Force is on the outside, then back to Tanit at the rail. That's Bitacora racing second last, and the early trailer is 55. Around the first turn they go, and in front, Bill's Legacy, three parts of a length. On the outside, that's Chubby Star second. Back to third and down inside now is Lipstick City through a 22 and three. Aggressive opening quarter. Blame it on Dixie is now fourth, fifth and inside is Wedding Jitters, followed outside by Gale Force. Then at the rail goes Bitacora. Tanit confidently ridden while second last for Leparu, and the trailer is 55. Separated by seven and a half lengths with less than half a mile to go. Up top, it's Bill's Legacy and Luca Panici in front to half a length. On the outside, Chevy Star second. Blame it on Dixie is a three wide third. Lipstick City down toward the inside is fourth in front of Gale Force in fifth. Then Wedding Jitters. Tamit three wide and starting to launch an attack with Bitacora between horses. And 55 is last and trying to tack on. They're stacking and packing as they run to the top of the stretch. Blame it on Dixie up for a short lead. Tamit will be fanned very wide on the course. Trying to move with her on the outside is 55, and they turn in. Here's Tamit set down for the drive by Julian Leparu, but 55 has momentum on the far outside. 55 was last early, but she's first now. Tamit tries to stay with her second, but to the finish, 55 from last to first to in. Second Tamit, third. Chubby Star got close after that. Lipstick City and Gale Force in a photo and 142 and two. If you're a regular watcher of this program, you'll know what I'm getting ready to say. Nobody has been riding the turf course better at Gulfstream Park than jockey Jose Lescano, and he wins again on long shot 55, who was dead last early, circled wide, and got up to score for trainer Tom Bush and owner Empire Equines. Second was the eight, Tamman, who also had a wide journey ahead of number six, Chubby Star, who rounds out the try. 11th and final race on the program, five furlongs over the turf, maiden claimers in for a $20,000 price tag. Scratch number five, big player, a field of 10, Favorite was the nine, Main Street Movie. And runners away. From the outside, the favorite Main Street movie blasts out to take a clear advantage, leading by a length and a half early over Indy Forest, who comes away a joint second. Up on the outside, God's Greatness is now third. Let's go, G-Men. Down toward the inside is racing in fourth. Twas Nero had to tap on the brakes. Moving up and by him is Starship Danny. Starship Danny's now raced into fourth. Then Nine's Wild Frankie. Out wide on the course goes Charlie Atlas. Back inside to with Twas Nero, who shuffled the third last. Second last is Holiday Prince, and Stravinsky's Quest is last of all as they chase the speed of Main Street Movie. Main Street Movie turns first with the lead. Racing from second, it's God's Greatness up and on the outside. That's Indy Forest now third. Two and a half lengths back to the outside. Here's Charlie Atlas making a late rush. Inside the final furlong, Main Street Movie still there. Not done trying is Indy Forest on the outside. Indy Forest making ground at Main Street Movie. Time ticking away, Main Street Movie. Second is Indy Forest, third is Charlie Atlas, then let's go G-Men to complete the Super in 56 flat. The favorite nine Main Street movie blasts out of the gate and holds firm for the score under jockey Edgar Zayas. This gives Edgar a riding double today. Ronnie Werner, the winning conditioner for Arendelle Farm. Long shot Indy Forest, the eight was second ahead of seven Charlie Atlas who finished third. Late pick five, $5,910.90, 4285 for four or five. And the Rainbow Six, we had multiple winning wagers. $6,604.84 is the return for just 20 cents. That'll trigger a Wednesday carryover of $14,153.23. Racing resumes Wednesday with 10 races on tap and a 12.35 p.m. post. We'll see you then.
Jack, I'm so tired. 